Hey everyone, this is Manly Badass Zero, and welcome to Cafe Venus Flytrap, which is a horror game where you play a cute fly that decides to visit a frog cafe. Another day, another cake. Hmm, what a delicious smell. My mouth is practically watering already, but I should pace myself. Okay, I have a lot of work to do today. Bestseller books don't write themselves. Unfortunately. I really like the atmosphere of this cafe. I should have checked it out sooner. It's cozy and vibrant. Perfect for me to get into the writing mood. I'll get something to eat in a minute, but first I'll have to look around. The cafe is so pretty. I'm a fly. How you doing? So, let's see. Is this an animal world where everyone is some form of humanized animal? Or is it just flies and frogs? We'll see. I don't really like eating at cafes. Too many people. I'm here just because my friend invited me. I usually bring something with me to occupy myself with. It distracts me from overthinking when people look in my direction. Usually it's my laptop or my writing notes. I'll try to bring my sketchbook next time. Try their meat pies, they're supreme. Always the meat pies. Maybe later. What kind of meat are they made of? Hmm, I don't really know. I think they use a lot of different meats, that's why it's hard to tell. What's like one of the most famous influential ones when it comes to this? Sweeney Todd. I can't go home without my daily dose of sugar. I'm waiting for my order. What did you get? A cupcake, three macarons, a pretzel, and a king size coffee. I'm on a diet. Um, well, good luck with that. Excuse me, can you not? We're kind of in the middle of a conversation. Oh, I apologize. I'm just looking around. Man, extroverts are so weird. Wow. Don't mind my friend. She's grumpy because she didn't have her dinner yet. Oh no, I understand. We all get cranky sometimes, aren't we? I love that their food is always fresh without that awful microwave taste. I hear every day. You never cook at home? If I tried cooking myself, I would probably burn my house down. Haha. <laughs> what about you? Do you cook? Sometimes, when I have enough time and energy for it. What well, delicious mint frap! You should definitely try it. I don't really like mint, flavor, and sweet drinks or baked goods, but thanks. You monster! But your scarf is mint colored, hee <laughs> hee. Actually, it's a color of freshly mowed grass. Whoa, oh, I see! That's so specific. Well, hello there, Dreary. Enjoying your day? Yes, thank you. I woke up early today to do a lot of work. Earlier? But it's almost five. When do you usually fall asleep? Ah, uh, around four in the morning. Anyway, I reckon I need some kind of energy booster. And what's more energizing than sweets, right? Quite right. Sugar makes you think better and increases your activity for a short period of time. But be careful not to catch diabetes, theory. Oh, don't worry, I eat plenty of other food as well. I love to eat. Naturally. Like all flies. Can you tell me what this wonderful plant is called? I would love to buy one. This is a Venus flytrap. A useful little thing. A flytrap? Why is it called that, do you know? Because it eats you! Sounds a little bit ominous. <laughs> It's nothing like that. It's called a flytrap because it produces a very sweet nectar that flies love so much. In fact, we use the same nectar in our own recipes. That's why a lot of flies frequent our little cafe. We frogs also love this nectar, but I think no one loves it like you flies. Do you think I can harvest this nectar myself if I buy the plant? I always wanted to get into baking. Oh, I'm sure you'll be splendid in baking, dearie. That's a very good idea. And by splendid and baking, I mean like in our baked goods. Oh, thank you so much for your encouragement. Have a lovely breakfast, theory. 
strawberry cupcake and carrot cake. Macarons and jelly dessert. There's an angel cake and pretzels. There's a blueberry cupcake and various macarons. It's just a trash can. The minute it's kind of cute and empty like my soul. My apologies, but you can't go through. This is staff only area. Oh, of course, sorry. Welcome to Venus Flytrap. We have a big assortment of pastry desserts and various drinks. I've never been to such a lovely little cafe before, and the staff is so friendly. Oh, thank you, thank you. We try to make our customers as comfortable as possible. All the food is cooked with love and a touch of homemade coziness, so I'm very glad you find it to your taste. Do you have your eyes set on some particular dessert? Or maybe you want some coffee? Hmm, let me think about it. I'll tell you when I'm ready. Of course, take as much time as you need. I think I'm gonna go with... Does this, does this matter? Let's go over the angel cake, sure, why not? One angel cake is coming right up. Take your seat, we'll serve you in no time. Here's your order, sweetie. Bon appetit. Looks yummy, thank you very much. Oh, sugar, here I come. Mmm, it's incredible. I can't believe I never ate at this cafe before. Now I don't even want to cook anything myself. I just want to eat their food every day. Oh, my stars, that's just the best idea ever for my book. Well, maybe not the best, not ever, but I should definitely write it down. I can be made entirely out of different types of sweets. There are small candy-like creatures living in it. A castle is going to be a slice of giant cake with a meringue around the top to serve as crinolation. And the moat around the castle is going to be filled with strawberry smoothie. The clouds are going to be made of, out of fairy floss and when it rains it's maple syrup instead of water. Chocolate horses are going to live in biscuit stables and royal marzipan dogs will sleep on cupcake beds. Oh, it sounds so wonderful. It makes me want to eat this kingdom up. Wait for the sequel. Where it's flies running a... a cafe for candy and sweets, people. Except that would be cruel. I would never eat sweets if they would walk to talk like me. Bark. Oh my. I was so excited about this new idea I didn't even notice how I ate everything. Wait a minute. Something's not right. Was it drugged? You, did you pass out? Huh? How long was I dreaming? And while the lights are out. Did anyone think they would like kick me out of the store? Where is everybody? Hello? Is anyone there? Um, it's not funny, you know. Okay, don't panic. There must be some logical explanation why everyone left. Only I don't see what kind of explanation that could be yet. No, maybe they all got grabbed. It's kind of hard to see. Still, I should look around for some clues. Maybe we'll find a staff member afterwards. Maybe you should just leave. What is this? How can it be locked? You need to finish a drink? I can't think about food in a moment like this. Hey, it's free. Oh, I think I pricked my heart hand on one of its spikes. It's too dark to see where everything is. Did it just close itself? I think Storz took my hand out of time. Even if I wanted to throw away some garbage, I can't see much in this darkness. Why don't I search around for clues first? I can't touch the plant. They left their drink. Where could they go? I guess I have to approach it from the north. The coffee gone cold. 
Hmm, couldn't find anything. And the only place where a staff member could probably be is through this door, so... I know I shouldn't trespass, but I think they will understand. I just got nowhere else to go. Yeah. I mean, that's just... Other meat, right? I don't think flies have meat like this. Yes? What is this? Why is there so much blood? Oh god, there's a fly in one of the plants! Is... is that a person? Hello? Oh no. Oh no, 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 they're dead. They're... I think I'm gonna be sick. What is going on here? Here you are. The last one. I finally found you. There was literally just no one over the room. The last one. Today is the harvest day. Oh, you poor unlucky thing. If you visited us on any other day, I would let you go. Can't you let me go now? I promise I won't tell anyone. Just please, don't harm me. How can I be sure you won't tell anyone? It's way too easy to manipulate a fly. That's how we lured you here. You flies are half-wits. You'd believe anything. But why would you do this? Well, we all need to eat something. It's the basics of life. Don't tell me. Y you're carnivorous! The frogs. As carnivorous as the name of our cafe. You really are stupid. Did you believe that tall tale about the nectar? We use fly traps to catch our prey more easily, and then take the bodies out before the plant dissolves them. How many flies did you... How many flies died here? Oh, lots and lots, my naive little glutton. And not just flies. Crickets, mice, moths, spiders, worms, snails, ants, snakes, birds, grasshoppers. All things that theoretically a large enough frog could eat. Our own babies if we're hungry enough. Stop it, don't tell me. I can't listen to this. Oh, what a shame. Did they mention fish? Frogs will also eat fish sometimes. Today you're twice as unlucky, you know. What do you mean? Because today I feel like playing with my own food, instead of letting the fly traps do all the work. Stay away! I can't. I must finish preparing the meal. Do I have to grab that knife? Okay, so worst off, what happens if I get caught? I'm morbidly curious. You will be a great meat pie. Okay, you're in a good spot. Knife. Which one do I? Do I have to, like, get you? door wasn't locked. Why won't you open? Come on, come on! Sing a song of sixpence, a pocket full of rye, four and twenty stupid flies baked in a pie. What kind of range lunatic are you? You're a frog. Bark. Oh, look at you. Still got some fight left in you. That's cute. Makes it more interesting. All these happy faces and sweet little talks. You're all villains. That's what you are. The frogs. Oh, please. I'm the most genuine of them all. I don't make friends with what I'm going to eat. These guys. Well, they say they truly love working in the cafe. But I don't care much for all these decorations. They say this way we're more likely to not be found out. But I say they're just lily-livered and amateurs. So you're saying you're experienced enough to get away with it, even if you were working alone? I suppose I am. Oh, really? And what if I call the police? Right here and now? Don't be daft. You're locked in and I have the advantage over you. Don't you dare. Well, aren't you full of surprises? And how did I miss the moment when you picked up that lovely toy of yours? Perhaps you were too busy being a maniacal psychopath? You even know how to wield it. Here, let me show you. 
Get off. Give me that knife now. Stop. Let go. What do you do? Stab me? Frog that was stabbed. And who's stupid now? Let me just call the frog police and they'll fix this right up. Are you calling the police? I'm calling the ambulance, but don't you worry, I'll call the police soon after. No! Wrong order! Ambulance. Why are you calling the ambulance? Because I'm not like you. Because I'm not a murderer. Huh. I think it's underestimating you. Everybody does. I feel like they would just came in, like, together either way. You were like, Police! There's a bunch of dead flies here and a dead frog. Or soon to be dead. I feel like there's probably never ending there if I didn't get the knife. We'll go back for that. Ending two out of two. Yeah. If you have anything, it would just be um, not getting the knife. We'll go back for that one. Simple enough. Okay, we need to make sure we get around you. Why won't you open? Come on, come on! Sing a song of sixpence, a pocket full of rye, four and twenty stupid flies baked in a pie. When the pie was opened, the flies began to scream. Such pretty sounds go so well with custard and cream. Hey, look, we got the full song. I can practically hear your tiny heart. Beating like a hammer in your chest. Are you scared? Of course I am. Wouldn't you be? Don't know. I've never been in the shoes of a victim. You should ask me word. Frogs actually can get somewhat cannibalistic. Look at you. I could do it so easily right now. That's not much fun, is it? There's nothing challenging in this. Nothing entertaining. And boy... Do I crave entertainment? What are you saying? Like I said, you're the last one. And I'd rather prolong the pleasure, so... Don't you think you should start running? Huh? What? I know you flies aren't the brightest sort, but I can't make it any more clear. I open a few more doors, and there's plenty of time until the sunrise. So run, as fast as you can. And I'm going to follow. Just remember. If you stop, you're dead. I'm giving you a head start, little Glennon. Ah! That's gonna be fun. Why are there so many flies in my meat pie? When will we find it? The Venus flytrap connection? The dead flies, lovers, and me?
and it went out too. Thanks for playing. So that's it for Cafe Venus Flytrap. This game is part of a actually currently running, like it's not over yet, uh, game jam that is it's like sweet to sour. So it is essentially the theme of the jam is going to be cute than horror or something like that, like a contrasting kind of thing. In this case, they uh, took the sweet part of the theme. They actually kind of snuck that in there. And we had a Sweeney Todd meat pie situation. In this case, with the frame of, you know, the interesting nature of what happens if you have animal people and their original diets. You typically have seen this kind of, um, it's not like this, but like you've seen like that concept kind of dabbled with, with uh, Zootopia and Beastars. I know at the end of Beastars, they did find a solution for it in the end. Although it was a little like, it was a little, um, without spoiling, it was a little like, kind of plot devicey, like kind of out of nowhere. But yeah, in this case, you know, it's frogs and flies, or frogs and basically small prey animals. So it's, you know, as soon as it starts, like, you know where this is going. Like, you, you know what's going to happen. It's just, you're just along for the ride, and you want to see what goes down. Uh, the art's cute. Fairly short game, but, you know, game jam game. They only run about 10 to 20 minutes, sometimes only 5 minutes, or sometimes just seconds. But, you know, it's a fun little twist of thing. I like sometimes seeing alternate takes on a familiar kind of premise. In this case, with the animal switcheroo, because, like, like I said, you, you, you know what's coming. Anyway, so thank you all for watching Play Cafe Venus Flytrap. I'll see you guys later, and take it easy.